Today I'll show you the easiest method of catching and packing a fat spider. I mean the tarantula. This is from my own personal experience. Maybe someone got an even easier method, but I'll show you my method. The tarantula that I will be packing is mature male Hilobrachis Vietnam Blue. It was bought as a female, but it turned out to be a male. So I contacted the store where I bought them. I mean, it's not really a store. You can order, but yeah. I bought it as a female on last year's Terra Plaza, not the one that I recorded. And they were okay with giving me another female in exchange for this male. So since I'm going to Terra Plaza, let me just add one thing. Uh, this was recorded two weeks ago. I already been to the Terra Plaza that I'm referring to in this video. And you can see that video by clicking here in the corner. Or check it out after this video. You won't regret it. I have some awesome additions. That's everything. Back to the video. I will be bringing this mail to get my female. Now the first thing that you need are some proper tools. I mean, the most important thing is this. It is just an old bottle of soda or this is actually a milk. I mean, this was actually a milk. You cut the bottom and you drill a bunch of holes, especially here. This will be used for catching the spider. I mean, tarantula. And also you need some plastic lid. So that way, once you catch the spider, you can close it off and take it out. The other thing that you need, you need a cup where you will pack your spider and make sure that this bottle can fit nicely like this you see it fits nicely you will see later why is this crucial so first thing that we need to do just position my camera you need to have a bunch of paper napkins that you will put in the cup I always forget words so take a bunch of those do something like that and put it inside take more I mean, just a second, you need the bottom one, so take a bunch, put it on the bottom, and take these, and you can put it like this, so it will be bigger, and just do this. Now what you need to do is make a nice and cozy place for the spider. This is not crucial now, since I will be taking it personally. But if you are sending a spider through the post office, they tend to be really rough with packages and they get tossed around. So this way spider won't have space inside to bump against the sides. Because if this was just an empty cup, tarantula would sit somewhere here. And when package is shaken, tarantula would be hitting sides and that way it could easily injure itself. So to prevent that, you need to make a nice little hole. The size depends, of course, on the size of the spider, I mean tarantula. So once you did that, you sprinkle it with water to make it nice and humid. Am I recording? Yes. Whew. Make sure that this fits, still fits, you see? Nicely fits. Now to the fun part. This is something that you don't rush. Take your time, make sure to be prepared, make sure to have a I don't have make sure to have a catch cup ready in case the tarantula rents or bolts preparation is the key now first we will take stuff that we can out mm. I don't want to startle it too much but it looks like this is holding everything maybe I can just let me show you the, what this does. No, there is not enough space. This is often the problem that you maybe don't have enough space to maneuver. That's why you try to take, I'll just close this lid just in case. this now it would be much easier if the tarantula was on this open spot but <laughs> there you see I'm just 
there we go. That's the idea. And this was not the ideal situation. There was really not enough space. But this is how you catch the tarantula. So just take it out, take it out. You see, usually it will go up. Now we try to get this plastic lid under, under it. There we go. Okay. Now you have your spider outside. Just close that. We don't need that anymore. Whew. My hands are shaking dealing with fast spiders and with potent venom always kicks the adrenaline in. Now you take this cup, get the range to go up like that. Open it and put it here. You see? Now just push the tarantula behind. I mean into the cup. They can usually be stubborn, but you must be convincing. What's up? Bro, go back. Go back, go back. And slowly but surely, or not, we are being aggressive. Oh, come on. Where you wanna go here? And what will you do here? It is easier if you manage to turn him around. But eventually... Oh, come on, man. You really are not helpful. <laughs> Have you seen that? That was some huge bolt. You really don't want to go. He is now pissed. There we go. Nice. Or not. You see how fast they can be. This way it is really safe. For you and the spider. They usually go inside without much problem, but this one is really stubborn. Okay, now since he's halfway in. Okay, now you got it. Now what you also need to do, you need to put some, some of that tissue. Usually once the tarantula goes inside, you, you no longer have problems. It won't go outside, but I don't want to risk it with this guy because he is a bit stressed out. Now he's stressed out. Now take a piece of tissue and put it on top. There we go. Now you can wet it a bit for more humidity and close it off. And that's how you pack it. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, but at least this way with, with this amazing piece of piece of piece of high-tech you can do it in the really safest way possible because this way once you put that on top of the spider he can go anywhere else only up and this is exactly where you want it to go and also once you pack it and close it off you want to cover it with tape to make sure that it doesn't open in the transport Hopefully this was helpful. I think that covered pretty much everything. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. See you again next Friday or Monday. You never know. Bye. -bye, -bye.